Hi, I'm Kate Richberg for Beeducation.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Sterling Silver Earring Posts. They're really easy, great to use, and I think you're going to love this technique. Look at how cute this simple pair of earrings is. I'm going to show you how I made them. Simple earrings are all the rage, and they're easy to make using these earring posts. Here we have some of the sterling silver earring posts right here, and I'm going to show you how to attach them to these blanks that I've stamped with a variety of star stamps and the period stamp. And these posts also come with the backs, so you have a complete kit ready to go. To adhere the earring posts onto the stamp blanks that I've made, I'm going to use the DEVCON 5-Minute Epoxy. And don't let the epoxy scare you, kids. It's actually pretty easy to use. What I do is I set myself up for success by placing my blanks face down on a little baggie here, and I'm placed the earring posts right above them. So after, so when I'm ready to go after I've um, mixed my epoxy, it'll be really easy for me to just dip these pieces right into the epoxy and place them right on the earring backs. So I'm going to slide that out of the way and I'm going to show you how to mix this epoxy. Now the DEVCON comes in two parts. You've got the epoxy and you've got the hardener. And you want to just open them up. And remember, you don't need that much. So I'm just going to open this up. And it's a little stinky, so you want to make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area. I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit. We don't need much. So I have one drop there put the lid back on so it doesn't get everywhere, pick up your other tube, squeeze out an equal amount, there we go. So you can see that looks pretty even here. And the epoxy is not going to start to harden until you actually start to mix it. So I could let it sit here for a couple of minutes if I needed to. But as soon as you start to mix that epoxy, the chemical action starts up and it actually starts to harden. Because remember, you've got five minutes with this epoxy. So I've got a popsicle stick and I'm going to start to mix. Now I want to mix this epoxy for a full minute and I want to mix it thoroughly. And I'm not mixing it too fast because I don't want to whip up a lot of bubbles in the um, epoxy as I'm doing this. But mix, mix, mix for a full minute. And I've chosen a plastic baggie here because this plastic baggie I'll be able to throw away when I'm done. You don't want to save any of this, have it hanging around after you have uh, completed your earring. I'm going to scrape a little bit of that epoxy towards the center and continue my mixing. It's the mixing action that really starts the chemical reaction with the epoxy. And I think sometimes when people have trouble and they say, oh, you know, this epoxy just isn't sticking, the problem is that it just hasn't been mixed thoroughly. That looks pretty thorough to me. So I'm going to gather it up and have it sit all right here in the center. See how I'm starting to get that little stringer, that little string right there? That's how I know that this epoxy is really starting to set up. And here under the lights in our Beeducation studios, it's a little warmer than it might be in your house. So at home, I would let it sit for about a minute, but right now under our hot lights, I'm actually going to use it before it starts to set up too much because if you let it go too long, it's not going to work for you. So I'm going to slide my uh, earrings into place. I'm going to take my earring back and give it a little dip. Not having too much or too little, but can you see that there how I've got it's completely covered, and it is going to come out um, around the back of the post, but that's okay. I'm just going to drop it into place, and the placement for this post, I'm placing it intentionally 
a little higher towards the top of um, the back of the earring here. If I place it too far down or sometimes even in the middle, it'll be top heavy and it will fall forward. All right, I gotta move on this because it's really setting up here. I've dipped and I'm placing. Now we've zoomed in here really tightly so you can see um, that connection. I just tap it just a little bit to make sure that they're nice uh, and firmly on the blank here. And resist the temptation to move these posts around. Try and get them right on the very first go. So all I'm gonna do here is let these earring posts sit undisturbed for a full 24 hours. This epoxy may be nice and hard in five minutes, but it really needs that 24 hours to get that chemical bond nice and sturdy. So that's it kids, that's just how easy it is to make a simple earring using the sterling silver earring post. <laughs>